when new hearing devices come out, it's like Christmas morning. We get excited about new hearing devices. I mean, so some, some of the companies that launch hearing devices are smaller, smaller companies, but they're, you know, there's kind of five to six really large hearing aid companies that put out great products, products that we would be very proud of, represents us well, helps the patient perform well. One of those companies is Widex. You may not hear too much about Widex. They're kind of, I don't know, the boutique club. They're kind of a, I think, an upper tier company. And not a lot of people sell Widex hearing devices. So they're kind of an, a niche product. But Widex just came out with a new product. Have you seen this thing? I've seen the new Widex product. I don't have a lot of information on it, but we wanted to share maybe a few first impressions. Mm -hmm. My first impressions, one of them was I, uh, this, the shape and size of it was different. Different and skinny. Smaller, it's I, skinnier. I like it's skinny. It has a very unique shape off the top. So mm -hmm. years ago. I can't believe you just grazed over the skinny thing. Well, Weren't you skinny. the one that called yeah. it the string bean? Oh, well, so <laughs> this, this model, I do affectionately I mean, on, you're refer already, to it as the string you're bean. You're already, we've got nicknames for this. <laughs> I mean, this product could be exciting. Anytime it, it gets a nickname. It's thin, it's skinny, it's long. Some people like the physical fit of that, yeah. especially if you're trying to wear glasses or you're concerned about right. how it's gonna sit behind your ear. It comes back a little longer. So, so there's a trade-off like there always is. It, it, it is slim. And so it doesn't yep. feel bulky, but yet it's long, like the string bean. Yeah, that's how mm. it gets its name. And so, so if, you're, healthy. if you're looking from behind for male users of hearing aids. Short hair like yours. Short hair. Mine. It looks quite large because it's long and skinny. So what's visible on the back of the ear is the long, skinny string mm -hmm. bean. It feels good. It actually looks kind of large, mm -hmm. even though it's skinny and small. You know, for female hearing aid wearers, Often their hair covers it anyway, so they love the feel of it. It's not mm -hmm. visible, and they, they like that look. Let me so. tell you why I'm excited about it. Dr. Barrett, our partner, mm. he's been wearing this device around the clinic, which is probably why we haven't been able to try it. He's, yeah. he's hogging. He's, he's got it today. We he's wanted to bring it to, he's, he's wearing it. He's got it in the corner. He's cornered <laughs> us out for a minute, but he said to me, this device sounds really great. Hmm. Yeah. He said the sound quality is really clean. It's really sharp. He said it might be my favorite. He dropped the word He's favorite. Going big. I don't, you know, was he being dramatic? But mm -hmm. he said it's one of his favorite sounding hearing devices. So I'm really excited. He also mentioned that they didn't lose that comfort mm. of the receiver wire. So the wire kind of comes down tight. I saw it on him and it looked, it actually looked really great on him but the wire was tight, it fit the anatomy, it traced the helix nicely, came right in off the tragus, everything was tight. And uh, it has that little, you know, Widex has this unique wire pattern. Their, their receiver wire isn't straight, it kind of has a, a kink in it. And for many ears, probably not all ears, but for many ears, that little adjustment, oh, you've got a testimony. I put it on my ear, I've okay. worn it. And Talk for my ear, that bend that they have right as it enters the ear it's is like perfect a 30 for me. Degree, like a little guy. It, it fits my ear more comfortably than pretty much any hearing aid I've put on recently. So, so comfort, something they're doing in the ear, something yeah. they're doing with the bend of that wire really so, is So working. far we like the physical comfort mm -hmm. for, for many ears, even tough ears. Mm -hmm. And we, we like that it's thin, and we like that Dr. Barrett says it's mm. sounding good. Mm, so yes, Widex traditionally, they, they like to really help with low input sounds, quiet sounds. Mm -hmm. They kind of they kind of pride themselves on doing really well in that area. And they don't put too much compression in there, right? They're unique with their compression, and so they tend to feel, the sound feels comfortable, which, mm. is, which is kind of a weird description, but it's, it's a nice sound, and so I, I think this new Widex product could be an exciting one. Yeah. I've always, always liked their envelope method of how they go after sound and it, there can be some also low frequency noise that you hear a little more. However, it does tend to allow for maybe better integrity of the characteristics of the sound, especially for those low soft inputs. So we don't, you know, we don't have hearing loss hmm. and we know you might, or you may know someone who does. And so we want to, you know, we have some demo devices. We'd like to put it on some people and try it out. We're going to be trying it, but uh, kind of an exciting device. One thing we noticed on the new Widex device, and this is the first time I've seen this on any product they've created, they've chosen not to put a little button or a little program mm. or modifier. So most hearing devices have like a, a toggle switch, like two, like a teeter-totter, 
or they may have just one single button that allows you to adjust quickly. Like if you can't find your phone and you can't adjust your hearing device, you can always push a little button to take your setting maybe from a normal output setting to maybe a little softer in case you're in a really noisy place like a movie theater. This device has no button. So yeah, they're gearing it towards people that they're going to assume if they want to adjust it are going to do it from a phone. Mm -hmm. So all of these hearing aids have an app and rather than giving you any kind of manual control here, they're going all in on the app, uh, which boy, for many people, they prefer doing it from the app anyway. And that's going to be fine. But it takes away the option. Some people will say, ooh, I kind of like having, uh, yeah. I kind of like having a button. I like having the option of doing here or from my phone. So this one's strictly it, phone control. Initially, it feels a little defeatured. However, maybe it's not that big a deal because so many of the patients coming up now, they really do like to make those adjustments from the phone. You know what it reminds me of? How our cell phones, they took away the, the headphone jack. Mm. You know, they're saying, well, oh, it seems defeatured, I, but hey, everyone's going wireless oh, anyway, man. so let's go all in on I that. Know. That was a hard one. You know, that's kind of what it feels like to me is, hey, you know, it's a feature some people like, but we're going to go all in on the wireless thing. So. I know. I'm trying to think if there was, you know, traditionally the white X, and, and we, we need to call on this, we need to vet it out, but the ear molds haven't been great for this product. So it's really going to be possibly still, white X will be an open ear kind of specialist. That's how for, I like it. And, yeah. and you know, a lot of people need open ear, really great open ear products. So there's definitely could be a great place for this product amongst many users. Uh, open ear fittings are very, very important. They dominate the clinic. I mean, most of our patients need open ear fittings. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know what else I liked about it? Okay. The charger. Do you remember the oh, charger? Oh, yes. It's teeny tiny. And, and you know, these hearing aids now are all going to rechargeable batteries. But this one looks so nice. It's really yeah. small and sleek. You know, it looks like what you'd expect from your wireless earbuds that you're wearing, yep. your AirPods. You know, it's a small little case. And some of the hearing aid companies have chargers that need to be plugged in all the time. Mm -hmm. If it's going to work, it's got to be plugged in. But again, a lot of us that are used to wireless headphones and AirPods, yeah. we're used to having a charger that works on the go, mm -hmm. where it will charge even when it's unplugged. That's right. kind of becoming the expectation. And this Widex charger is mm -hmm. very small. It's yep. the smallest one I've seen that also can charge on the go. It has that power pack that it's already charged. You can take it away from the wire, take it on the go. And it's so cute. It's a, it's a small, little, sleek thing. I really like the charger. So Cute. I, yeah, it's yeah. cute. Cute little. So kind of fun. There's the white X device. White X. Yeah. yeah.